But then saying that, actually, it was also really helpful to be in a congregation of people who are just worshipping God, still being happy, clappy, still being hopeful. When I was just like this, I just can't do this. Because it meant they were like, well, you can't do it, but we can do it for you. Which I really appreciated. People would be standing alongside me in prayer, like during the worship time, they'd have a hand on my shoulder while they were, uh, while they were just fully singing, worshipping and rejoicing. And I was just a wreck, crying. But I found that incredibly profound because it's that sense of someone's willing to be beside me. And yet they were not forgetting the truth that I couldn't hold on to at that point. That strikes me as a, as a very beautiful image of the body of Christ, where one person is broken, one person can't worship, one person feels disconnected from God, even though they have that desire to be with Jesus. But worship for them. Hold them in your worship. Hold them in your prayer. Hold them until they can find their joy. Don't condemn them for not having the things that you think are important. Hold them. Place them in, a, in that space where their hearts can be warmed, even in the midst of difficult times. So holding on to joy uh, is the thing I want to think about. Uh, what does it mean to uh, stay with Jesus in the midst of really difficult times? Mm -hmm.